Hey, this is Left Tactical, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use breakpoints. So, as you see here, I've got a simple form with one button, and I'm going to show you how to use breakpoints with this single function and this function call. Um, what breakpoints allow you to do is break execution at certain points in the application. So, I'm going to click to the left of this code in this space here, and that's going to insert a breakpoint. And so that means that when this code is reached, the execution of the application will break at this point. And um, from there, you can step into, step over, and step out of the code. And um, I'll demonstrate that right now. Okay, so up, up top here, well, first we have to execute the code that needs to be broken. So I'm going to click the event handler and raise the um, event skips down to this code that's where the break occurs then we go back up here and it says step into and as you can see all we have to do is press this button and it will step code by code through your application proper that's how it's supposed to be executed you can also step over the code and that's basically just skipping the execution of code stepping out will return from a function or return from a block of code I'll just like so and um, so we're gonna step through actually we have to re-raise the event because we stepped out so we're gonna re-raise it it's gonna break again let's start stepping into it let's step into this function and see what happens alright so as you see here my string is equal to null so that means this code uh, this line of code hasn't been executed yet step into it again and you'll see that my string is equal to hey because this line of code has finished executing. You can also go up to this little icon here, click on locals to view locals, and you can also see what your local variables and your other declarations um, have in within them. So you'll see that my string is equal to hey down here too. So we're going to step into step into the code a bit more. And finally, it says, my string, hey, I hate Java. All right. So we're just going to step out of this. So the form will respond again. And as you see here, it says, hey, I hate, I hate Java at the top of the form. I'm going to stop this. So often you can use breakpoints for um, if you get any crazy bugs that you need to get rid of. Breakpoints are perfect for that. Um, you also may want to look at your um, data to see if it's valid, because you may get some you may get some bloating in your application or unnecessary declarations and assignment and all, and all that jazz. So um, I hope you learned something. This is uh, Left Technical signing out.